Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we are going to die this. So, uh, like many of you, I have scooped some old UCP gear off of eBay, and uh, the color is obviously horrible. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some RIT apple green dye, and we're going to dye these. These are Gore-Tex pants. These are the Equix, however you pronounce that, level 6 uh, in their layered you know, system. Uh, first impression, by the way, I don't really like these. I'll probably do a video on that at some point, but this video is about dyeing. Um, this was Gore-Tex. Originally, I was concerned you can't dye Gore-Tex because, you know, it's waterproof. However, it turns out that's not true. I don't understand the science behind that, but apparently you can, in fact, dye these. So we are going to dye them, and we'll just take you along for the ride. The other thing we're going to dye is this old IFAC pouch that was also originally a UCP pattern. I did hit it with some brown spray paint at one point because, you know, UCP sucks. And that was before I really ever considered dying or even thought about it. So I'm gonna toss this in there and we'll just see what happens. Um, this one's mostly kind of an experiment. So again, this is just kind of a bonus, come along for the ride. We'll see how it turns out. Other than that, I looked at the directions, uh, basically, you know, you need to have 140 degree water, water temperature in the bucket. You need to use about three gallons of water. So I'm going to boil two gallons, uh, dump as much uh, a gallon of the hot as water as I can get out of the sink in the, uh, in the bucket. I'm going to pour this whole bottle in. It says to use about half or the whole bottle if you want, you know, extra color or whatever. So we're going to go with the whole bottle. These two items, three gallons of water. Uh, I will use a handy brick to uh, weigh it down. And then, you know, you gotta stir it for the first 30 minutes um, and kinda let it sit for the last 30 minutes. Apparently you can do this in your washer, which I was gonna do, but on their website it says you can't do that with synthetic materials, which Gore-Tex definitely is. So, again, we're just, we're just gonna try it as is. But that's my plan. I got the water boiling right now. We'll get that in the bucket with, like I said, another gallon of as hot water as I can get it. We'll throw these two items in, we'll pour the dye in, we'll work on it for 30 minutes and then let it sit for 30 minutes. Then we will rinse it, wash it, and we'll see how it turns out. So here we go. All right, so it calls for 140 degrees or hotter. So like I said, I had two gallons of water boiling, got another gallon from the uh, sink and just as hot as I could get it to go from the sink. So I think we're, we're over 140 degrees. Um, not really sure exactly what temperature is. I'm not gonna bother to measure it. We're just gonna roll with it. So here is our dye. Here is the little pouch thing. And then here are the pants. Pro tip, maybe don't use a stick that has staples in it because maybe that might potentially tear what you're trying to do here. So, pro tip for you guys at home. All right, we'll stir it for 30 minutes and then we will come back. Okay, it's been about 29 minutes. I'm gonna stir this for another minute. I was rereading the directions while I was stirring this and apparently I was supposed to add a cup of vinegar, so I missed that step. So if you do this at home, maybe do that. The color is a little bit better, uh, but it's still not as dark as I'd like. I think this is going to end up being too light. So we'll see once it uh, is done. Um, you can stir it for another 30 minutes, but I'm not going to stand here for a whole hour stirring it. So I'm just going to uh, use a brick or maybe prop this stick up against the uh, wall here and uh, let this submerge for another 30 minutes and then we can see where it goes from there. Okay, we'll check back in in 30 minutes. <clears throat> okay, it has been over an hour. So I'm gonna take the brick out, take this inside, rinse it off, throw it in the wash uh, with an old towel because that's what the directions say and then we will see what it looks like after the wash. I want to say right now, I do think it's going to end up being too light. And uh, you might even be able to tell like based on the 
how it dyed the uh, piece of wood here. I just think that the green is going to be too light and I probably should have used one of the online formulas to go with a darker green. But we'll take a look and we'll see what turns out. There is the final answer. It did turn out uh, darker than I thought it was gonna. Not quite as dark as I wanted. You know, this is kind of like that marine mar pat pattern a little bit, right? Because it's got the greens, but this is just different shades of green. You know, basically what, what gets dyed, you know, is that what was that uh, former kind of tan sand color. Um, and that's really what's taken on the green. And I just wish those sections were a little bit darker. I wish it was, you know, more this shade. Obviously it couldn't be all the same shade because, you know, then it wouldn't be a camouflage pattern. But you get the idea. Um, Overall, like I said, I think this turned out well. I think it's definitely an improvement. Um, it, it's kind of hard to make them worse. Um, so if you're you know, looking in the market for old UCP type stuff, uh, I would probably recommend this idea. Here is that pouch um, that I had previously spray painted brown. You can kind of tell, I don't know if you'll be able to tell on the camera, but right here um, is a little bit, you can still see some of the brown from the spray paint. And same thing over here, you can still see a little bit of the brown. But this one died great uh, for a pouch. You know, this, this works fantastic, I'll take that. Uh, I think if I were to do it again, uh, I would use just some different shades. So this is apple green, that's the dye that I ended up using. RIT has all kinds of different formulas on their websites. And I think I would just go after one of those and try a darker shade of green or just mix and match your own, right? Buy this and some brown or something and try to make a dark green. So that is dyeing the Gore-Tex UCP Equix Level 6 pants. If you're at all thinking about it, uh, this is a method that makes UCP gear usable. Hope that's helpful. Do brave deeds and endure.